A former police officer in the U.S. state of Georgia has been charged with the murder of an unarmed black man. Rayshard Brooks was shot twice in the back as he fled from two white officers in a car park in Atlanta. Garrett Rolfe, who was sacked from the police force shortly after the shooting, could face the death penalty if he's found guilty. Our North America correspondent, Nick Bryant, takes up the story. It started out as a routine call. An African-American reported asleep in his vehicle in the car park of a fast food restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia. Can you step out with me, please? Yes, sir. Rayshard Brooks was asked by police to take a sobriety test. Then he suggested he walk to his sister's home nearby. I can just go home. I have my daughter's there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. Right. Hold on, Miss Brooks. Blah, 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 blah. But after he failed a breath test, the police decided to take him into custody. That's when a fight broke out in which he seized and fired one of the officer's tasers. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. During a brief chase, he pointed the taser at the officer, who responded by fatally shooting him in the back. Tonight, prosecutors revealed shocking new details that Garrett Rolfe, the officer who killed Rayshard Brooks, had kicked him on the floor afterwards, and the other officer, Devin Brosnan, stood on his shoulders. Neither offered any medical help for two minutes. In announcing a felony murder charge against Officer Rolf, Georgia's Attorney General showed a photograph of that kick and stressed Rayshard Brooks did not pose a serious threat that justified the use of lethal force. The demeanor of the officers immediately after the shooting did not reflect any fear or danger of Mr. Brooks, but their actions really reflected other kinds of emotions. Faced with such massive and multiracial Black Lives Matter protests, prosecutors are moving more swiftly to bring charges. What makes this case so especially alarming is that even at a time of heightened racial tensions, a white police officer thought he could shoot an African American in the back and then kick him on the ground afterwards. It will increase the already urgent demands for a major overhaul of American policing.